Uh, joining us now is uh, my friend, and uh, you know him, you love him, America's psychologist, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier. Hey, Doc, how are you? Steve, always great to be on with you. On your fantastic always great show. to hear your voice. Thank you. Okay, so... Um, th- there you heard Amanda Berry, uh, and, and I want to ask you some general questions before we, we play uh, a, a clip of Michelle Knight, who, if you don't cry when you listen to Michelle Knight and, and, and hear what she says, she has a learning disability, and she perhaps was the most outspoken of all. Uh, but ha- ha- what, what does it say about the three of these, uh, these young ladies that they got together, decided to put this out a- at this time? Steve, a lot of people have been, uh, I think, uh, taking this to the negative, saying that it was way too soon for these young women to do this. And I say, well, perhaps they're right. Perhaps it was too soon. But in some ways, I think we need to turn this from a negative to a positive because these young women need our support. And I think this has turned into a real affirmation, and they have declared to the world that they are on the road to recovery, a recovery that will take their whole lives, but that they refuse to be victims. They go, they, they're they on their way to being survivors. And, uh, and I see that uh, even with Michelle Knight, especially Michelle Knight, uh, the one who you talked about with the learning disability, Ability. Uh, she is going to go from survivor to being a victor because she is not being defined by this. She's redefining her life and finding a new purpose in her life. She was the one who was uh, most in trouble, in my opinion, and is the one who is really invested, uh, as much as the others, but really in transforming her life completely and becoming an advocate. And I think that's amazing. Yeah, let, let's, let's hear. Actually, could, could we do t- a 28 and then 29? Here's 28, uh, Michelle Knight. And again, folks, she has a, a learning disability. If you're watching at Newsmax.com, you could see her reading uh, from a script. But here, here we go. We have been hurt by people, but we need to rely on God as being the judge. God has a plan for all of us. The plan that he gave me was to help others that have been in the same situations I have been in. All right, and I want to play number the, the last one, number 29, uh, right now. To know that there's someone out there to lean on and to talk to. I'm in control of my own destiny with the guidance of God. I have no problem expressing how I feel inside. Be positive. Learn that it's important to give than to receive. Thank you for all your prayers. I'm looking forward to my brand new life. Wow. I mean, I, I, well, I, wow. I don't know what to say. You, you tell me what, what you thought of and you, how you reacted to seeing her and hearing her. Well, I, I really was overjoyed because it really does, uh, in, in, in a world, in a time where we know that we have monsters walking amongst us, here is a victim of a monster who says, I will no longer be a victim, and um, it's up to God to judge. I, I, I'm not even going to judge this monster who did these horrible things to us. And, and I think it just gives a definition that we've been missing for a long time uh, in these really negative news stories that you know we hear all the time and we have to hear them because this is what's happening in the world uh, but it is a woman who now has re uh, defined uh, transformed her life and look Steve we know that these were all scripted um, little speeches that these young women gave but you know that they gave their input into these speeches this is coming from their heart the words may have been perhaps uh, uh, the grammar was cleaned up, perhaps, uh, for the world, but this is coming from their heart, and this is coming from Michelle Knight's heart. I, I know it, I, I feel it, and I know you do, too. Abs- absolutely. I mean, I, I had tears in my eyes watching her yesterday. It was a, I, you know, my son actually said to me, you know that the three girls from Cleveland made a tape? I said, funny you say that. Thanks for reminding me. I'm having Do- Dr. Gardier on tomorrow, and i got to get the, the, uh, the YouTube video. So I went down to the basement, and she was the, le- the third one to speak. It was a short tape, as you know. And she spoke mm-hmm. the, the longest, and I was just, I had never seen her before except for a still picture, and I, I didn't know much about her. And, and to see her and to hear her, uh, and, and one thing that struck me, yes, she, she did reference kind of 
the attacker, but but by, by saying, you know, I'm not I'm not judging anybody. That's for God to do. But I think it was very significant that none of them, uh, and probably not unexpected, none of them mentioned uh, at all the the the, uh, the, the attacker, the uh, the uh, the monster, as you call him. Yeah, exactly. And why even give him that credit? Why even give him that significance? Uh, because he is. I, I mean, he's not even of this world. I mean, this is how horrible and how sick that individual is. Um, someone who really, I, 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 we try to help everyone, and, and I hope he gets some help. But he's, he, he has destroyed three lives, and these women are rebuilding from the ground on up. And I think that is such an amazing, amazing thing. And we have a minute left. There were also two relatives of, uh, of uh, Gina. Uh, who Gina De Jesus, who was, mm -hmm. spoke very briefly, she gave like one sentence. But her, I, I think her parents, or at least her relatives, a male and a female, thanked everybody for their support. And and we got 30 seconds. But uh, how much is uh, the, uh, the, who has the more difficult job uh, of adjusting and and, and 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 going forward? Those around them who love them, or or them themselves? Uh, I, I think it's going to be them themselves. But they really do need the support of the family, and it has to be a group uh, family support way of doing it. They all have to do it together, and we have to continue to help. Doc, a pleasure. Thank you.